Give me the rest of the Setsicus. I don't think the Lego wand actually works. Hi guys, so today I've got the Harry Potter Herbology classroom book set. So it's uh, out of four sets, you so you get all four houses and it's a book and then it opens up into a classroom. When I saw it, I thought it was really cool. And this was the one I wanted to get first, just cause I like the Herbology, Herbology setup. I did order it when it came out on January the 1st, cause I was gonna go into Lego store and just buy it from the store. But due to lockdown, all the shops are closed, so I couldn't do that. Did take a while to come, but you know, with the pandemic and everything, I guess stuff's gonna get delayed. So what I'll do, um, oh, I'll show you the back of the box, sorry. So on the back of the box, it shows you the opened book. So this is the Hufflepuff book, which is probably my like least favorite house. I know there are fans of all the houses, but I just kind of think Hufflepuff just me. I don't, I don't think it really gives you much. You know, Gryffindor, you've got all Harry and the Weasleys. Slytherin, you've got all the badasses and the naughty people. And then Ravenclaw, the amazing Luna Lovegood, who is my favorite Harry Potter character. And then Hufflepuff, you know, meh. I don't know if there'll be some uh, Hufflepuff fans commenting or not, but I just got this one just because it had the Herbology thing. But what I'll do, I'll open it up, get it built, and then see what I think. That took me half an hour, so a nice, easy build. So this is how it is in the book form. I do like the fact that this isn't a sticker and it's nice and printed. There is a sticker on this bit, that's not too bad, I'll let them off. Every Lego fan hates stickers, surely, I just find it annoying. So it doesn't it quite close, probably should have been like a latch or something like that, but it doesn't quite close, but it's not, you know, it's not really jarring. The, there are little spaces on the top where I've put the figures and the little mandrake accessory. I'm pretty sure that's where they do go because they don't fit inside this. So take the figures off. I'll talk about the figures in a bit. Take the little mandrake off as well. Then opens up. Oops. There's a little book accessory as well. I'll just shove that in because it doesn't really fit anywhere. So you take the little garden bit off. That's really nice. There's a couple of pumpkins, other little various plants in there. So that fits on the top. And then on the other side, that's where the little figures can go. Well, I think that's where they go. Then the little sink bit. Oh, I have broken the little lid. Not broken it, but I just mean the lid has come off the bucket. So that's a nice little area. And then this bit opens up. Then this little bit folds down. Does it fold down? No, this bit folds down, sorry. But then that opens up into little Herbology classroom. I think that's really cute. And space-wise it's really good because you could have all four next to each other on the shelf, which probably will do, I will get the other three because I do, do really like this set. And I like all the figures that come with it as well. Figure-wise, do have a little concern. I just find it a bit strange. Maybe it was budgeting or something like that. So Cedric Diggory and Neville Longbottom, I forgot his name then, both have the same short little um, legs, but Cedric Diggory's are movable. So same color, because they introduced that, I don't know when, but they're going to introduce the smaller legs and they're movable. But Neville's are not movable, but they're the same. I don't know why they did that. I just find that a bit strange. But both Neville and Cedric have the same outfit for uh, their whole bit. Her can't say herbology, herbology class. And then they have the little, I like the little accessory with the little earmuffs, that's cute. And both come with a wand and Neville's come with some scissors. They both have alternate heads as well. So he's look Cedric's looking a bit angry there. And then I think the alternate head on Neville, I might change that actually, it's a better head. To be fair, he's, he's squealing and stuff, probably at the mandrake. Which there is one. I think it should have come with more mandrakes because that's, that's a memorable scene when, and in the books as well, when Professor Sprout, who is here, gets all the, the mandrakes all come out and they scream, don't they? And you have to have your headphones on your ears or you'll collapse or something. She has little headphones on already. Does she have an alternate head? Yeah. So just kind of more of like a little smirk. So I do have the, I do have a comparison to the 
Series 2 Professor Sprout figure that came in the Lego minifigure series. And she's in a dress. And then, is it the same hat? It looks to be the same hat. So it's not actually that different, but I do like the fact that she comes with a mandrake. I mean, it's different enough, but it's not. Like the torso, yeah, the torso is the same as the head. No, it's just got more like a worried expression on the Series 2 one. So, I mean, you know, you could use both. But yes, overall, I really like it. I think it's good value for money as well. I think it's fun, and I do like the fact that it can go back together easily. Now, there we go. Goes back together easily enough. I just have to remember. I think it was that way. And then that was on the top. Now, there you go. I just put the thing in the wrong way around. Figures on top. Put the mandrake on. Oops. And then, yeah, oh, I forgot to put the book in there. Just put the book in there. And that all slots together easily. Very easy for a kid as well. But obviously, I'm an adult geek, so I want this for my collection. But yes, definitely be getting the other ones. Really like it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram as well, because I put daily geeky stuff. That's Geek Guy Printers as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye.